what is up Royal Gamers welcome to Romania versus Hungary in Supreme Leader 2010 I know that a lot of people are like what there's a Supreme Leader 2010 yes there is this was released I think in 2005 maybe 2006 but I'm pretty sure it's 2005 uh, about a year ago I did play the demo and it was definitely an experience I didn't expect it to be a uh, 2d but it did <laughs> And uh, it is not 3D, it is 2D. And I wanted to point out that there are certain elements that are actually quite better than the other Supreme Ruler games that have been released. And uh, I'll give my pros and cons about it. First of all, some of the pros include that you can replace ministers. Uh, there's a system where you can check your uh, units, designs, and they actually look 3D. That's not 2D, by the way. That's actually that actually looks 3D. If I can just find the option here. Um, again, this is my first time doing a Supreme Leader 2010 video. I haven't gotten used to the uh, interface or any of the other options. So again, uh, please bear in mind. Although uh, one of the cons that I don't like about 2010 is that the interface really sucks, and I really don't like it at all. And uh, the scroll speed. If you try it scrolling, it is very slow. I'm, this is the fastest I'm going. Uh, my, my mouse wheel is also broken, by the way. But when I try to zoom out, this is the fastest I can go on zooming out. And this is also a scenario, by the way. It's a European scenario, so the whole world is not included. It's, a, it's just the European continent. There is other scenarios where it includes uh, the whole world, but for now, this is just a... European scenarios just because it's a versus in Europe so that's pretty cool but uh, I don't I do not like the interface in 2010 and I also don't like the uh, 2d of the game two-dimensional again it is 2010 and it is the first Supreme Lord game that was released so I understand that but I prefer you know of course 3d everyone prefers 3d and uh, as you can see there are my units right there if I tried zooming in uh, the terrain the cities the units, everything is 2D, and it doesn't look pleasant at all. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, as I was saying, units. Here we go. Of course, uh, my infantry units don't spin. But as you can see, look at that. That is pretty... Oh, what did I do? That's brilliant. I like that. That's pretty cool. 2020, the other Supreme Lord games do not have that. Uh, let's see if I can find a tag. You've got the engineers here. You've got RN... 94s. Here are some of the Romanian tanks, the TR 125s. You got BMDs. You got howitzers. I wish I could show you guys the uh, T 55s, but I guess uh, I already deployed them all anyway. Some artillery units, the BM 21 Grads. So those are pretty, some of the uh, pretty cool and neat things that 2010 has. Uh, what else does it has? Oh yeah, you can also choose your own government. So, of course, I started out as a democracy because Romania is a democracy. But when you start the game, you can choose your government type. You can be one of the four governments. Of course, democracy, as I said. You can be a monarchy, just like uh, some of the Middle Eastern countries. Uh, dictatorship, like North Korea. And, of course, you can choose communism as well, just like China, Vietnam, etc., etc. So, you have four options that you can choose from. And that is one of the cooler more pro things of Supremo 2010 but uh, again this is the first time playing 2010 as I play it more and get used to the game I'll be stumbling upon uh, pros and cons but for now um, I really don't know <laughs> how to play the game yet all I did was deploy some units and uh, build some factories and whatnot industrial factories you can't stack. I don't think you can stack the uh, the build the what is it the factories on each other. Let me see if I can do it. So I like to build agriculture right here. Yes. I want to build another agriculture. No, you cannot. That does not work. So that's one of the cons in 2010. But uh, this is a versus. Enough explaining about 2010. This is Supreme 2010. My first ever versus for it. Romania against Hungary. Let's get this show on the road. I have deployed all of my units and fraps. Oh, not again. Be right back. All right, I am back. I think that has fixed it. And the music is broken again. Well, that's just wonderful. 
And Fraps is lagging. Great. Yeah, the music is also broken for some reason. I don't know why there's no music. Yeah, it's not working out. And Fraps, 3 FPS, 5 FPS. What is going on? Be right back again. All right, I am back. I hope that is fixed. And yeah, all right, 60, 70 FPS. Uh, another thing is that uh, Kosovo and Montenegro, uh, what is it? Some of the newer European nations are not included in the game just because, again, this game takes place or was made in 2005, around 2005. And so that is not included. And the only way to declare war on a nation is to go to, uh, what is a state? And you have to look for the nation. And it is not capitalized, by the way. Everything is just unorganized. And I got to find, what is it, Hungary. So you got Ireland, the UK, Germany, Benelux, that's new. And Hungary is right there. So you got to go here. And then, what is it, we negotiated treaties, boycotts. Enemies and allies, current relations, and here's declare a war with a missile right there. And over here, you've got make diplomatic offers. So, again, that's pretty confusing. i got to get used to all this. And warning, please confirm declaration of war against Hungary. Uh, yes, I would like to do that. All right, at war with Hungary. And Fraps is down to 2 FPS. Are you kidding me? What? All right, guys, uh, i got to figure this out. I don't know what's going on with Supreme 2010. I guess it really doesn't like... The layout or the uh, interface of Supreme 2010. Neither do I, but I'll be right back yet again. All right, I am back. Let's just end this real quick. I don't know how this can go. And the game is very loud, so I gotta lower the audio here real quick. WAV file is that what it is? I don't know. Oh, that is the one. Five FPS. <sighs> Pause. All right, I am back once again. I restarted the game and I restarted Fraps, so hopefully that'll help. I also can't find the capital. I really, I really don't know what the capital city is. I think that's Budapest, or maybe that's Budapest. I can't tell, guys. Again, this is 2D and everything, and I guess the gray uh, lines are roads. So let me send my units straight forward into Hungary. And now the audio is very low. Let me just turn it up a bit. There we go. Oh, come on, really? I can't make a 2010 versus? Out of all the days, Frabs decides to fuck up, and I can't make a video. One FPS, guys. One FPS. Oh. Great. I gotta figure this out yet again. I thought restarting Frabs in the game would have helped, but guess not. I will be right back for the hundredth time. Alright, I'm continuing it again. When I resume the game, I guess wraps when it messes up. That is weird. That is not good. Whoa. Okay. Every time there's an explosion, uh, Fraps decides to do this. Do I really got to restart my computer right now? Oh, come on. Really? I guess I'll have to, to continue this versus. So I'm going to restart my computer and then resume the game. This is the only way to make a 2010 versus. Again, I apologize for all the uh, fuck ups right now that is happening in 2010. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I restarted my PC, so it should hopefully work now and not lag. All right, to Budapest. If I know where Budapest is, and they uh, would have surrounded my units here. Um, this interface, guys. Holy crap! This map, uh, the map design, basically. Uh, I think I ran out of fuel over there and ammunition. That's what it looks like. All right, so I guess the arrow on top of the unit means it needs to retreat. All right. I just noticed that from the Hungarian unit over there. Look at all those alliances forming over there. New alliance formed between Portugal, France, Norway, Finland. T-55 retreating. It tells you all of the notifications up there, basically. It's for the email boxes, anyway. Alright, so... I guess it's not going well for me. Just because I have no supplies. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. I mean... I really didn't know that I was gonna do a Supremo 2010 video. I never thought that I was gonna own Supremo 2010, but again, I want to thank RJX115 for gifting me Supremo 2010. 
I have all the Supreme Mario games now. And again, I want to thank him for it. And perhaps right now is causing problems yet again. I wish it was, I wish it was gonna be smooth. I wish this video was gonna be smooth, but right now it's just hard on me right now. Nothing is working right now. <laughs> oh, man, oh man. And I can't tell how many garrisons they have there, I just can't tell. All I see, is, all I see, are health bars. Basically, that's all I see right now. What's with the uh, green lines? I guess they just stay there. What the? Yeah, this versus is not going well for me, guys. Again, this is my first time. What? The game just froze. What? Um... I'm confused. What just happened? Uh, guys, I really don't know what happened. Um... I'm sending units. It, the notifications are going crazy over there. Retreating, 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 retreating. But nothing is moving, nothing is happening. I'm sending orders. Oh, what the? Um. I just don't know what happened, okay? Don't ask me. This is 2010, okay? First ever Supreme Mode game. Not going so well for me right now. Or first ever 2010 versus, I should say. They surrounded me again. The AI does the same thing that 2020 does. Got another unit over there. And I wish I can zoom in a lot more closer. But again, this is all... This is the best you can zoom in. Somebody has declared war. Who? Serbia declares war in Romania. Oh, that's south of me. Oh, well, that's not good. I guess this is going to be a failure. A fail versus for 2010. There are the air units, by the way. I'm trying to push in as best as I can into Hungary. Is Serbia pushing in? I can't tell. Another nation has declared war, and that'll be Ukraine. By Ukraine, that's up north. Yeah, they're pushing in. Well, this is <laughs> this is a lot, this is a lot harder than I thought it was. Holy crap! They're sending in more units, and they surrounded my units, and that is game right there. That is it. That was all the units. I deployed all of my units, guys. I mean, I do have artillery units and AA units, but this is my infantry units. These are my tanks over there, and they're all getting destroyed. Ukraine and Serbia declared war, and that is it. My first ever Supreme 2010 is a loss. But again, I'm getting used to this. As I play uh, more games, I'll get better at it. Never played 2010 except for that demo, but I just gave up on the demo because I really didn't like the interface or anything. But now, you know, I gotta change my mind on that and do more videos for 2010. This won't be the last. I'll be doing more verses and maybe even an exclusive Let's Play for Supreme 2010 in the near future. And, uh, yep, there's that. A fail versus for Romania against Hungary. But again, I'll get better at the game. As always, at our world gamers, I hope you enjoy this experience. For the uh, new people that have never heard or seen Supreme 2010, hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time.